Let's get some light in the place. Meditations on Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, Book 10, Chapter 1. O oh soul of mine, will you never be good and sincere, all one, all open, visible to the beholder more clearly than even your encompassing body of flesh? Will you never taste the sweetness of a loving and affectionate heart? Will you never be filled, full and unwanting, craving nothing, yearning for no creature or thing to minister to your pleasures, no prolongation of days to enjoy them, no place or country or pleasant clime or sweet human company? When will you be content with your present state, happy in all about you, persuaded that all things are yours, that all comes from the gods, and that all is and shall be well with you, so long as it is their good pleasure and ordained by them, for the safety and welfare of that perfect living whole, so good, so just, so beautiful, which gives life to all things, upholding and enfolding them, and at their dissolution, gathering them into itself, so that yet others of their kind may spring forth Will you never be fit for such fellowship with gods and men as to have no syllable of complaint against them and no syllable of reproach from them? A very good question, Marcus. And coming live to you from a bothy on Mull as the rain comes down and the stars appear shadowed by those clouds under the eyes of the Ben, with nothing but a fire for warmth, and what good warmth that is too, from the ancient wood, the carbon returning into that perfect living hole, so good, so just, so beautiful, giving life, or at least warmth, to me, before I am upheld and enfolded and at my dissolution gathered into itself so that yet others of my kind or of the kind of the wood can spring forth. I have no right to have any syllable of complaint. And I hope to live a life with no syllable of reproach from others. Now I'm going to have some tea.